we had a, a precipitous decline in the population of river herrings. Um, appeared to be going on maybe throughout the whole East Coast, certainly in Massachusetts. Uh, it started in the early 2000s, and the runs really bottomed out in 2005, 2006. So we put in a moratorium on all harvest in 2006. We're in the fifth year now. And since then, most of the runs um, have come up and things are looking very hopeful. So really things bottomed out 2006, have come back incrementally each year since then. So uh, this year, anecdotally, we hear the runs are doing very well. So we're, we're pleased. Herring, uh, and by river herring, I mean bluebacks and alewives. This run here is primarily alewives. They begin to reach maturity at age three. The males at age three, the females at age four. And when they hit maturity, they, in the spring, about this time, they come into the rivers, uh, they spawn, and then they leave and uh, stay out in the ocean the rest of the year. The juveniles will stay in the headwater ponds, like Whitman Pond here, till uh, we get a wave in July, and then we get a wave in September. And they migrate out, uh, and they live on the coast till they're age three or four, and then they come back again. But uh, unlike salmon, which spawn once and die, uh, river herring can come back multiple times. <laughs> you hate to use the old cliche, it's not over till it's over, but uh, it's really hard to estimate because sometimes the, red, the runs are very intense but short, sometimes they're spotty but long. Um, just the general feel from everyone we talk to, local herring wardens, our own counts, are things look good.